Hey, this is Zell. Um, this is just a quick demo how to authenticate um, with Fortress 1. Um, and that means we don't have to worry about passwords and we can also um, we can also communicate results and statistics from the Quake server to Discord and to the Fortress1.org backend. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. You just want to head to Fortress1.org and sign in with Discord. Um, if you haven't done that, already uh, it'll ask you to enter your discord credentials i've already done that so it just redirects to the profile page if you don't end up on the profile page for some reason um, you can always just click on your name up here and that will take you to your profile page uh, and here is the command that you need to enter into quake or into fortress one when you're connected to a fortress one server and that will authenticate you uh, and it will remember you as well so you only have to do this once um, so if i just open fortress one and I will join localhost. Okay, actually, uh, so you can see it says Zell logged in as DRZEL16. Um, yeah, I've already done this. But if for any reason you're worried that your token's been exposed, somebody else has it and they're pretending to be you, um, you can always just change it. Uh, okay, so I'll just copy this token. And if I reconnect... Uh, you'll see now I can't log in. So, uh, to log in, you literally just paste this command. Uh, log in and the token, and now I'm logged in. So if I quit and come back um, and join local host, I'm straight in. Um, in the background, it's saving a file uh, into your Quake directory called fortress1-token.cfg. It's separate from all your other configs and your tokens stored in there. Um, so what are some of the benefits of doing that? Um, one is is that it just does away with passwords. Once you've logged into one fortress1.org server, you can connect to any fortress1.org server. They won't have passwords on them anytime. Um, all, the only time you actually need to be logged in is if you're trying to ready up to play in a quad um, or join a quad that's that's already running. Uh, otherwise, you don't need to do it. Um, and the reason that we want to log in is because it allows the uh, the Fortress One game server to talk to Discord and the Fortress One.org backend, so that it can share uh, results and statistics and stuff like that. Um, and then we can share those with you. One problem I had when developing this is that we often have an all-time attacker or defender, and um, although they're playing for the purpose of the their rating, it, it shouldn't be affected. Um, but the server has no way of knowing that they're all-time attack or defense, so I've just added those two as options now. So if you go all-time attack, you'll be on the blue team for the first round and the red team for the second round. Um, so it was attack, and, and vice versa, obviously, for defense. Um, maybe I'll just do a quick demo. So uh, I've just got this set to one minute quad rounds. So I just uh, need to connect with another client they're both me you just have to pretend and that one authenticated as well okay so team two ready ready okay um i suppose i should let blue in actually let's just see what happens here so when the match starts we should get a little pop-up to say yep okay here it is so uh, Zell's dev server, so this would normally say Sydney, uh, Sydney Fortress 1 staging or California quad or whatever it is. Match starting, um, 1v1 because there's only two of us, that would normally say 4v4 or 3v3, the map name and the ID of the map. Uh, and it just tells us who is on each team. Um, I haven't got it yet, but in the next release, probably later this week, it'll show the classes that they've selected for the first round. Okay. So we'll just go back to the game. There's 25 seconds left in this round. Um, I don't actually want to cap because if I do, <laughs> uh, it'll just take longer. So we just want to get to the end.
Okay, just clipped out a bit of waiting there. We're back. Uh, let's cap the flag as red. Just so we can get a result. My machine's not the greatest and it's struggling under the 4K video recording here. Okay, so I got a cap. That's the end of the quad. Um, you can see quad results successfully logged and it gives the ID. And back in Discord, we'll now see red wins with 32 seconds remaining um, and the score. Uh, and we'll also have a link to download the demo and a link to see the stats. Um, the stats at the moment is just the raw data. I haven't formatted it into a nice web page, um, but that's you know this week, next week, something like that. Uh, so that's it. Um, enjoy and oh, actually, one, one more thing. Uh, one of the benefits of doing that, if you haven't seen this already, is that you can on your profile page you can have a look at your results, see how you're going. Um, this is the last 30 matches uh, and and your rating, so you can see how your rating's changing over time, what your rank is, your percentile, etc. Um, for those in coaches Discord, um, the matches that have been recorded recorded through his bot uh, they are not here at the moment um, although any f once you've logged in any future matches will be put in here um, but I'll see if I can do something about that not sure yet I'll have to get in touch with coach anyway thanks for watching uh, enjoy